Hello everyone. Today we've got the LG Music Flow speakers with us, the wireless speakers with us. We've got the H5 and the H7 of the LG Music Flow speakers with us and we'll be doing a small review of these speakers. But before we move on to anything else, let's see what exactly LG claims uh, is great about these speakers. The speakers first of all uh, as placed on the table they look great. They are very uh, compact and uh, they are very modern. So they will fit in, they will blend in with the modern looks of my household as well and they will look very sleek. Also something very interesting which is highlighted on the box of these speakers is that you can place them anywhere in your house and you can control them with your mobile phone. Also there are few see, uh, few uh, salient features of this product. First it works on a seamless network. It works on a dual band mesh Wi-Fi technology. I'll explain what it means. It has a HD music playback and it can also stream audio from any of your internet radio services. That is something that is uh, very unique and uh, let's go ahead and see how this system works. So uh, just to give you a small preview of the whole system, uh, on the top is the volume control and in the middle this button is the on and off uh, switch. The speaker has a very fine grill on the front end as well as on the back end. So uh, basically the speaker emits uh, voice from both the sides. There's a there's a slot for your hand to slide in so that you can carry it very easily. On the back side, if you see, there are a few uh, ports which have been given. So one for one, first one is the Wi-Fi setup. The second one, if you want to add another speaker to your existing setup, that means that you can sync more than one speakers to the same mobile phone using this button. Third is the DC in, as you can see, I have already plugged in the power here the DC in. Fourth is a portable in for your normal auxiliary cable and fifth one is for an ethernet cable. Uh, in case you don't have a Wi-Fi you can use the ethernet cable also to set up your speakers. Basically these speakers are connected over the Wi-Fi uh, with your phone, with your uh, computer to give you seamless wireless music experience. So now let's see how to set it up. To begin with uh, what we need to do is install the music flow app on the mobile so for this we will need to go into the play store and we'll have to type the music flow player and we have to download this app called music flow player by LG electronics audio so I'll just uh, install this app on my phone so the app has been installed now let's open it uh, as soon as you open the app for the first time it will give you the terms of use which you need to accept and then it, you need to accept the Google Cast service also. Remember, the Music Flow gives you the uh, facility to listen to internet radio. So the Music Flow app is ready to use. Uh, before we uh, can use it, we'll have to connect the product. So uh, you have to connect. There are many products which are available in the Music Flow category. There is a multi-room audio, there is a soundbar, portable audio and bridge. We have the multi-room audio, so we will click on that and connect. I have a wireless connection at home so I will choose the wireless connection and I will press next. Now what it tells me is that I need to press the button on the back of the music flow speaker to connect. So I will show you which button is it's asking me to press. It's asking me to press this button which is the Wi-Fi setup. So as soon as you press that button this light will start blinking white and red. See it's showing here also the light has to blink white and red and you click on next. As soon as I do that, it will ask me for my wireless uh, password. I'll just enter my Wi-Fi password here. And there you see, it's now connecting the music flow. So the light is still blinking white and red. And the app is trying to connect. There you see, the speaker is connected. So I have music flow 1 uh, connected to uh, my phone. I can rename this uh, uh, speaker. Let me rename it to my main hall speaker because I will be connecting the other speaker in my bedroom. So the main hall. So now the speaker I can identify as the main hall and whether to check whether it's connected or not I can just press here. So you hear a small beep which means that the connection is now done. 
so let's see how good the connection is so i'll just finish it here and so the new music flow app is now ready to use so as soon as this is done you press start it will ask you to choose the genre uh, to which you want to listen you have to choose three genres minimum so i'll press bollywood indie pop and uh, let's say bhangra and press next it will also ask you how do you feel today now this is a very interesting feature because what it does is it takes your entire collection and classifies your collection according to different moods and if you say that you are feeling lively today it will try and play all the songs which will uh, which will uh, make sure that your mood remains the way it is or the way you want to feel so let me press lively and finish so it's asking me that uh, cast your favorite music and radio apps from your phone and tablet to your music flow so again you can play from anywhere right now i'll just say no thanks so here you see i have the option of uh, listening using this speaker or i have the option of adding another speaker to this uh, speaker itself now let's select a song to play So I must say it's a very very convenient app. You can use the balance left, right, etc., etc. You can do everything on the app. Also, what you see in the uh, app is you have a home option. As soon as you press home, this is the how the home of the app looks. So your song is playing at the bottom. Then you have your favorites. You have your timeline. You have the most played songs here, and you have your playlists here. Also, what you see here are the streaming services. So as I said, you can stream the internet radio on your uh, phone. So let's try doing that. So I'll try tuning into TuneIn, and these are all the stations which are there. Uh, let's listen to let's listen to a BBC World Service news. Since then, Nick Bryant has been to Oxford, Mississippi, the home of the state's famous university, Ole Miss. It was a battleground during the 1960s civil rights era, and is still the scene of an angry debate today about how the white South. Let's look at black the sports in London. Dispersion team. Um, and it's going to be a massive year because, of course, there's the new environment agency contract um, that the Anglian Trust won. So this is very interesting feature because you don't have to go anywhere else. You can stream everything onto the same speaker. using uh, the same app then you have the music library in the music library uh, you get all your uh, songs from your phone's memory there is a very interesting feature that i must tell you about which generally people don't know about so when we say that lg h5 and h7 are truly wireless seamless uh, wireless uh, speakers we really mean it what happens is if you have the music flow app on two devices and both the devices are connected to the same wifi network to which the speakers are connected you can actually stream the songs from the other phone also on this phone without even you knowing about it all the songs from that phone will start featuring in your library here and you will be able to play them this is something which is really unique i instantaneously fell, fell in love with this uh, service then there is a mood station according to your mood it will uh, start playing songs for you so as you see from my library it has automatically uh segregated all the songs in energizing it has put one song let's see which song here is the song which it has put in energizing and as soon as i choose that i need the energizing mood right now all the songs listed under energizing will start playing again something which is very interesting let's see what what else is there on the app uh you have the connected speakers you can see all the connect the speakers which are connected to the uh, app right now i have only one speaker connected i'll be connecting the second speaker very shortly and i'll show that to you as well and we have the settings so in the settings you have the general settings uh, which has a user guide you can create it on switch it on you have a gesture control also so if you shake the device the uh, speakers will switch to the smart device 
you have the music curation here you can uh, you can set everything on the uh, speakers you can rename the speakers you can switch on and off the led on the speaker you have the ip of the speaker and you have everything here the speakers also need to be updated the softwares on the speaker also need to be updated so that can be done here then you have an alarm so you can use these speakers for as an alarm also which is again something very interesting you have the music library here you have the account management the time zone the advanced settings uh, so the mesh network that we were talk talking about uh, it uses a wi-fi mesh network to connect so that you experience seamless music without any drops and without any disconnections and then you have the google cast uh, controls uh, and that's about it you can use the app to uh, control the music on the speakers you can even use a cable an aux cable to uh, uh, connect your music and you also have the option of a bluetooth so you can use the bluetooth option as well uh, from uh, to connect from any phone onto the speakers without using Wi-Fi. If you don't have a Wi-Fi, if you don't have an internet, you can just use Bluetooth. What is even better is the speakers come uh, equipped with a tag-on NFC feature. So change the modes. All you have to do is use the center button uh, to switch it from the Wi-Fi mode to the Bluetooth mode. Uh, you have to just press the center button once, and you will see this white light shift from the Wi-Fi to the Bluetooth connection. Uh, now it's waiting for a Bluetooth. So let's uh, go to the phone and search for a Bluetooth. So you have these Music Flow H5 and H7. Uh, my phone has detected both of them. Uh, I'll choose the H5. It's pairing it. So Music Flow H5 is now connected uh, to my phone through Bluetooth, not through Wi-Fi this time. And I can play uh, all the songs normally that I used to play using the Play Music or any other uh, app that you use on your phone. And uh, you can just stream your music through Bluetooth like any other normal speaker. So and again you can use the volume control here to increase or decrease the volume. So pretty simple, pretty neat. Uh, I hope you like the review. Uh, do subscribe to our channel if you liked our video. Thank you so much.